Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is applications of trigonometry. And here you can see a word problem along with this visual representation. Let's go ahead and read this word problem. The angle of elevation of an airplane from point on the ground is 60 degrees. After a flight of 30 seconds, the angle of elevation becomes 30 degrees. If the airplane is flying at a constant height of 3000 times square root of 3, find the speed of this airplane. And here we can see that at one point E, the plane is right here. And after 30 seconds, the plane moves to point D. So we are interested in finding the distance from point B to point C, which I call it X, and we are going to calculate this X value. So before we go any further, let's look at this SOCARTOA chart, and we are only interested in TOA, TOA part. What TOA means is, TOA means tangent equals to opposite over adjacent just keep in your mind so here i have wrote down tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent and now let's get started with our calculations in very first this triangle a b e let me go ahead and write down in our triangle A, B, E. Let's calculate tangent of, over here you see our angle is 60 degree. I'm going to write down tangent of 60 degrees equal to, and we know that the opposite over adjacent in our, this case, our opposite side is this one. As you can see, this is our opposite side, which is 3000 times the square root of three divided by adjacent. In our case, our adjacent is AB. I'm going to write down AB. And we know that the tangent of 60 degrees is simply square root of 3, so I can write this thing as square root of 3 equal to 3000 times square root of 3 divided by A, B. And here I can write the square root of 3 as square root of 3 over 1, and here I am going to crisscross. I'm going to cross multiply so that is going to give us if you do this thing square root of 3 times a b equal to on this left hand side this one one times this 3000 times square root of 3 is going to become 3000 times square root of 3 and since i want to isolate this a b i'm going to divide both side by square root of 3 so this square root of 3 and this square root of 3 cancels out this cancel from this side so we ended up a b equal to 3000 just keep in your mind and now in our next step let's focus on next right triangle and in this next right triangle, we are talking about triangle A, C, D. So we are interested in angle tangent of, this time you can see the angle is 30 degrees, tangent of 30 degrees equal to, once again, tangent is always equal to opposite over adjacent. In our case, opposite is 3000 times the square root of 3 divided by the adjacent is 
whole A and C part. It's going to be the segment AC. So I'm going to write down AC. And we know that tangent 30 degrees is 1 over square root of 3. So I can replace it by 1 over square root of 3 equal to 3000 times square root of 3 divided by AC. And now here we are going to cross multiply, crisscross. So if we see this thing, 1 times AC is going to become AC equal to square root of 3 times this one. Over here I can write 3000 times square root of 3 already there and times square root of 3. So thus AC equal to 3000 times and we know that this square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to 3. So I'm going to multiply times 3. So thus AC turns out to be 9000. So this length of AC is 9000. And now in our next step, as you can see, just focus on this horizontal part only. We know that AC, this whole big segment, equal to AB plus BC. Does it make any difference? So this whole thing equal to AB plus BC. And we know from our previous steps, we figured out AC is 3, AC is 9000 by the way, you know that in from second step over ACs and we know AB is 3000 plus and we know that BC is we call it X. So if we move this 3000 on the other side so we are going to get X equal to simply 6000. So that is our x value. And now in our final step, we are going to calculate the speed of this aeroplane. And here we're going to be using this formula. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. In our case, the distance in our case is 6000. As you can see, this is 6000 divided by the time was 30 seconds as you recall. So if we simplify that one, so our speed turns out to be 200. So that's the speed of the airplane turns out to be a 200 meters per second and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.